Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, but I've been having so much fun with uh, DFS that I wanted to share, you know, my experiences with you guys and kind of give you guys a little understanding of what I've been doing. Um, I'm not going to go into like particular details of how to. I am just going to introduce like some of my routine and if it's something that you guys like to do, you know, then check it out. I by no means am sponsored by DFS in any way. Um, if you guys have known some of my videos in the past, I've done BU, and BU is an amazing um, virtual experience as well. I just wanted to try something different. So here we are at DFS. So, um, and so far, so good. I'm having a great time. They have so many different animals, they have so many different things. Um, so let's just go through some of them and um yeah i left my huts on so you can kind of see it uh, the hut is very simple you either craft down here or you care and i'll teach you a little bit about care um, again though this is really not a tutorial this is just kind of like an introduction of dfs and kind of like what it does so here we go so they have so many different animals and um cows is one of them and they have like three different kind of cows they have these ones here i guess they're called an ayrshire 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 cows uh, I have like seven cows and one and one bull, so that bull will definitely re help me reproduce more. You don't need a lot of males. See, this one will say male on the on the hover text. So there's that. And if they have white uh, hover above them, that means nothing's going on. Um, you just look at their stats and see if they need anything. And if they have yellow, it means that they're ready for milk. You just this is a very click based. Uh, program so you just click on the cow milk don't click slaughter I have done that before and you will lose that cow you won't lose the meat you'll get meat but you will lose the cow so be super careful about the slaughter button this one has uh, orange so that means it has waste and waste is like super important because it gives you fertilizer and you need that too uh, plant seeds, but I'm not going to go through every one of these, uh, but I do want to show you these are also cows. So uh, they also have like special edition cows. And um, even if you don't like them, I'm going to tell you why they're kind of important to collect as they come out. And I'll tell you how to collect them and where to get the collections from. Um, but there's like a whole probably video series that I'll do on uh, collecting animals because I'm not really informed on how to collect them. But I'll tell you what I do know uh, later on in this video. And I'm trying not to make this video like an hour. So let's move on. Um, we have sheep. See, this one died of old age. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and slaughter it. And I will get a sheep crate, which contains sheep carcass, in which I would um, chop up for meat. So it's useful even if they die. Um, I have goats. They produce milk. Um, the sheep produce wool. I don't think they produce milk. Wool and babies. And I'll show you how to easily find out what each animal produces. I have chicken coops that produce eggs, only eggs, not meat. Um, they're easy to take care of. They also have single chickens that you can also uh, breed, um, and they produce meat. But I don't have any um, single chickens out right now. I'll go over the garden in a minute. I just wanted to kind of cover some of the animals that I have, um, and then we'll move forward to the plants. And uh, I think this is the last of it. Now, they do have many more animals. These are just the ones that are on my farm. Um, and when we visit the DFS store, you could see the other animals really quickly. But these are just the ones on my farm. Here I have some piggies. Uh, they produce meat um, and waste, which is useful. Um, and what you have to do to maintain your animal's health, obviously, look, he's all floating in the air. I have a pet peeve about floating things. So you guys know I'm a decorator at heart. So I've got to put these pigs down. 
got to put the pig down. Once I see it, I can't unsee it. Okay, moving forward. <laughs> Uh, you got to maintain their. I know you probably can't see it. It's kind of hard to see on film, but basically above their head is their name that is pre made um, when you res it, their gender, their age, their happiness, their food, and their water. So you just got to look at the bottom three and make sure that those are all maintained. The happiness, oh, excuse me, the happiness can only go up to 80 on these animals unless you feed them protein. You do not have to give them protein until you're ready to slaughter them. And once you give them animal protein, it will give you more crates. I've been doing a little experiment. And so far, when I slaughtered a cow without protein, I get seven carcasses. If I slaughter it after I feed it protein and its happiness is at 100 because protein makes the 80 go to 100. Uh, I'll get 10 carcasses for the female and in the male it's either 10 or 15. So the protein does help. Um, and that again affects the happiness. The protein affects the happiness. The happiness default is up to 80. Make sure it's always at 80 throughout their life. Once you're ready to slaughter it, give it some protein, get it up to 100, slaughter, boom, bam, bam. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then you have the water troughs, which you have to make sure stay full. And the way that they stay full is through the uh, water towers and the water barrels, uh, which is not like... Right. Sorry, guys. You know, I was just throwing this stuff down and getting busy uh, getting in my farm. So what you do is you take a water tower and put it next to a water wind pump. And the wind pump fills the tower. And the tower fills the troughs. And the troughs have to be within a certain distance of the towers in order to, for it to receive water. And the cool thing about this is that it automatically will feed it water. You don't have to do anything. You just set it next to it. Like if you had an empty one and you set it next to this barrel and the barrel had water in it, it'll automatically fill the barrel up. I mean, the troughed up. I wish I had an empty one I could show you, but I don't. So, um, And then the distance is determined on... Um, let me see if I can find it in my inventory. Uh, is determined on meters and DFS actually gives you in the starter package an object to measure the distance of your of your products and I'll show it to you right here as soon as I can find it uh, it's in the starter kit that you get. Um, let me see. Basic, collectible, freebies. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's in the starter pack. So it's called a water range display. And you basically will res it on the land. And again, this is free. You get it at DFS. You center the uh, barrel in the middle. And then anything within this circle will receive water. So this is a, a like a really useful tool. And I think it extends all the way out to my um, dirt fields here, my troughs here. So yeah, um, one barrel can go a long way. Um, so there's that. Now we're going to talk about uh, some of the gardens. I have so many. I'm not going to go through each and every one. It'll drive me insane. But I'm going to go through like the basics. Um, we have plants that you would assemble in your own planter. Um, I got these planters from Fourth Wall. They're called Perla, Perla Planter. Um, so I just resed one of these. And then I placed uh, the flowers that you get from DFS. Um, and they look so nice. And this is what they look like when you res them. They don't have a planter, so you can put them in anything you want. I choose these and to maintain them you got to make sure that their water is sufficient their care is up and it tells you how many uses they have left so in order this is where your DFS button comes into play there's two ways to care for your plant that I know of there may be more but these are the two that I know of so you click the plant you hit prune you sit on the plant and you click your care button 
the amount of times that it needs care. So right now it has two out of three care. So I only need to click it once to make it three out of three. And it automatically pops you off the plant. And then you just rinse and repeat. And I do like two or three at a time, you know, to keep it pushing. So yeah, boom, boom. And then I go back and I water it. So I'll click the plant again and I'll click water. And then it'll give me a drop down and ask me where I want the water to come from. And it'll, and I'll just pick whatever pops up, which is tower. Sometimes it will time out on you. Um, so you'll have to sit and wait for it to reset and click the water again. And it looks like it's about, oh no, this one actually watered. So here, this one needs watering. I don't do more than two or three at a time because then it gets funky and it'll, it'll, time out and you'll have to stand here forever i have stromboli here on the floor i use this to boost my care so any food products that you acquire you cook you um buy you're given um you just click and eat and it'll bring up your care your care is point based um i don't remember how many points you get when you start dfs but as you move forward in dfs your points increase and the more points you have, the more work you can get done before you have to eat. So that's awesome. Um, I have pineapple here. Um, and uh, these are the, uh, again, these are the plants that you put in planters. The pineapples also I put in um, the planter. They come like that. Uh, and then we have fields. We have two different fields. We have dirt and and. Um, uh, water. These are dirt fields, and dirt fields can come in different versions. They can come in this version, and uh, uh, I can show you a few other that I have, but this is one of the, the dirt field versions, and I'm growing um, beetroot. And here, you just got to maintain the water and the tending. The tending equals pruning, so I prune these. Now, pruning is really a slow process, so... DFS developed uh, a tool. It's called a trowel. T-R-O-W-E-L. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But what I do is I hook it up as a HUD. So basically it's a shovel. Let me detach it and just put it on as a shovel so you can see it. Um, now you, I believe you get a basic one in your package. But I buy mine because you get like a really good speed boost. So I have a trowel and I don't even know where it is. Where the heck is it? Detach from myself. I always put it on as a HUD because I will forget that I have it on and I'll be running around the grid with the shovel in my hand. So I suggest you put it on as a HUD. And what I do is I just uh, right click it and I attach a HUD as bottom. And down here is my uses and my speed. And right now I have 132 uses. And um, I'm trying to show this to you, but why can't I edit it in Black Dragon from here? I don't get it. Like in um, Firestorm, I can go over here, right click and edit and then be able to move it up. But here I have to... I don't know. Anyway, it is a shovel. Attach it on the bottom as a HUD. Move it up if you don't see the numbers. Keep an eye on the numbers. If you don't have a trowel attached, it will take you 10 minutes to 10 to one dirt field. And if you have as many dirt fields as I do, that is no bueno. Um, back here, I have grape vines that are already attached to a fence. Um, a couple of them are ready to be harvested. And the reason I know, this is one of the plants that do not tell you above that it's ready. You have to actually look at it. It'll say growing time done, but it won't turn colors. When the other ones are green, you can tell that they're ready to be harvested. These don't turn green, so you've got to keep an eye on the, on the grapes. So in order to harvest your um, anything, you just click it. You click harvest. You sit on it. And it'll go through a series of animations and um, you'll harvest the plant and it'll drop it in your inventory. 
Here's another type of water tower, just like the other one I showed you was a barrel. This is just uh, like a modern one. You can actually put your own texture right here. I was too lazy. Um, but yeah, you can customize that. And of course, again, it's next to a wind pump, which also needs to be repaired when it gets below like 25, I think. So you buy a wind pump tool, you let uh, you click it, it'll ask you to repair it, and then you sit on it, and it'll make you sit there and repair it. If I have one that needs repairing, we can go through it. So I just got um, the great baskets off of this fence. And it takes a minute for the server to catch up. Same process here. You just uh, water you take care of it. Now, I told you there's two ways. You can eat food and keep your care bar up, or you can purchase clickies or acquire clickies. Clickies are items that DFS, they call different items clickies. They come in the form of a bird bath, a stone, a gnome. On holidays, they have like fun clickies. They have special ones for Patreons. I mean, the list goes on, but the one thing that will always be in common is the word clicky. So if it's a clicky, they all do the same thing. They care for your plants and animals. How do you use a clicky? I'll show you real quick. You click on either the plant or the animal and hit prune the same way you would care for it. If you're ready to care for it, you sit on it and instead of hitting your care button on your HUD, you will hit the clicky. It'll register and care for that particular plant. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Okay, same for the animal. Uh, you wanna go ahead and brush the animal. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, in order to care for the animal, you have to brush it and you have to have a brush equipped. And I equip the brush as a HUD also. Um, and I'll show it to you really quick. Instead of clicking your care button to brush your animal, you click the clicky. One, and, it, and you click it until it reaches 80, two. Or combine, you can combine it. You might want to click this once and this once. You can do that too. Happiness is 80. The pig is happy. The pig has food. The pig has water. Not all animals eat the same food either. Um... You just check with the animal that you have and it tell, it gives you the information of what kind of food. Like my goats right now are hungry. They have no goat food. <laughs> let me find it. Let me hope I got some. Let, let's hope I have some. Okay, I got some in my inventory. So I just res it next to the goat. And um, I don't know why they res upside down. And only the goat feed does that. I don't know why the rest of them don't. What the heck is going on? This is so troll. I think like the person that packed it says, ha ha, I'm going to put them in upside down. <sighs> I don't think I made goat feed yet, so I definitely had to buy these. All right, so they got feed. Um, the, the water is close enough for them to utilize. Uh, the sheep eat hay. You make hay from hay piles. Um... I'm not going to go through that entire process. Let me just see if I have any. I have one in my inventory. I have to grab the rest out of my... Oh, that's just a pile. Oh, that's not even what I want. That's what you use to make the hay bales. Um, but I need a hay bale, not a hay pile. Hay bale. I don't have one in my inventory. Anyway, after this film, I'll grab some and put them out here. But you use hay bales to feed cows and sheep. Um, goats and pigs have their own food. Chickens have their own feed. So on and so forth. All right, moving forward. Oh, yeah, we got llamas, too. They provide you with meat and wool. Um, beehives, same. All of this is kind of the same. You care for it, you water it, whatever. You just left-click it, it, and you care for it once it gets down. Here, it's 3 out of 10. These actually need to be cared for. These are my beehives. I can either use my care button or the clicky. Hit care, sit on it. Um, where the heck is my clicky? I usually just um, go in my search and grab the clicky. So what I do is, like, if I don't know where my clicky is on the grid, I'm in Firestorm when I do this, though. See, I can't do this here. I just copy my position here, and I bring the clicky over here under Area Search. So I go to Area Search. Is this Area Search? 
this ain't even, like I don't do this on on Black Dragon. I go to Area Search, I find my clicky, and I bring it over. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to click this seven times, bring the care up to ten, and this is good to go for uh, you know, I don't know, maybe a few days. You just watch it. It probably goes down like one a day. It it's not fast. It goes slow, so. And as long as it stays above one, it'll produce honey. Um, these are my feeder cooker thingies. Um, I make my own um, animal food. You buy these at the DFS main store, the DFS feed meals. Um, I'm not going to go through how to use them again. This is not a tutorial. I'm just kind of introducing you to some of the things that I got going on here. Here's some more things that I put in planner. As you can see, these are green and they're ready to be harvested. These are strawberry plants. You just left click harvest, jump on it, put it through a series of animations. Uh, if you see blue, you know you need to do something and that's watering. So for some reason, I missed this olive plant yesterday. Uh, so I just go in here and click water. I'm gonna stick around, make sure it doesn't time out. I'm gonna click a water source. It's at 100. They need all, they all need water and tending, but I'll do that after the video. Um, we also have trees that you can plant that produce different things. These are peach, same concept, water and care. Uh, you left click it, you jump on it, you either use your care or clicky to care for it, and you click it and water it. Make sure there's a water source within that range that we talked about. Um, Trees come in different versions. Sometimes they're large. Um, you can also buy the smaller ones like this. This is lemon trees in the smaller version. Um, the lemon tree, who is here? Did I see, hello? Who is this person on my land? Oh, I thought my land was locked. Oh, no, no, boom, go away. I'm sorry, I didn't, this is my homestead and I had no idea. I need to lock it up. Okay, but that's for, an, I hope he doesn't come back. If he does, I'll lock it. Okay, I didn't ban him, but I did eject him because like, I don't want him getting in my picture. He might get naked or do something crazy. No. Okay. So we got these trees. Boom. So they're the smaller version. And then you can also get lemon in a vine form. Let me show you my vine lemon. My lemons on a vine. So they produce lemon. They both produce lemon baskets, but in different forms. It just kind of depends on how you want to decorate. Um. Oh, he's back. Okay. Um. I don't play that. If you get ejected, that means you're not wanted. Okay, bye. Now he's gone for real, for real. Okay, now. Oh. <laughs> uh, this one needs water. So let me water it. It's blue. Like, I walk around. If I see blue or pink, I'm, like, on it, you know, because I believe, and again, I'm not sure, I believe that if it's in those states, like, it has no water and needs tending, the growing stops. So if you want to grow your plants, you need to keep up with them. These are pine trees. I just planted these. Same concept, water and care. They produce logs, and logs are used for crafting. And hopefully once I get educated on it, I can do a whole series on crafting, on cooking, and, you know, what we use these different plants for. But for now, these are just kind of like showing you the different things that I have. Uh, okay, he just talked to me. I'm going to talk to him so he knows that I'm not being mean. Um, he just said something to me. Just wanted to ask what kind of farm this is. I'm in the middle of filming. Sorry. I can't have other Abby's here until I'm done. Okay, so I'm not going to be a complete douche. All right, so these are pears. 
And these are maple uh, maple trees that produce sap. Okay. We also have willow trees, and I forgot what they produce, but they're cool. And then we have random trees. I am really curious to see what these produce. They're random spice trees. I think sassafras is one of the things that it produces. Um, but they have these. Um, and they all need water and care. And then my gigantic dirt field. A uh, dirt field farm with several different plants. Um, a tower. Some of them, as you can see, are ready to be harvested. Some are in the middle of growing. They're all at different stages. Here's a compost bin, which you're going to need. Um, and, they, and it also follows the same concept as radius. So it needs to be within the radius of the field that you're trying to fertilize. How you add fertilizers to these compost bins is you just res a fertilizer from your inventory put it next to the compost bin. What is this man saying to me? Did he say none? Okay. And then the compost bin will suck it in and it'll store it there. So let me show you. Fertilizer. Do I have any in my inventory? I usually always put them in um, the box. I don't have one. I thought I had... Uh, oh, maybe if I spelled it right. <laughs> There we go. All right, here's a fertilizer. Just res it next to the box. I just res them all at once. Like, you know, sometimes you buy them in bulk and they'll have a reser res all, and that's so amazing. You res them next to the box, it'll suck it in. I don't know why this one is taking so long, but usually within the first 10 seconds, it'll put it in the box and um, store it there. So this will be 87 of 100, but that's how you do that. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. I really feel the need to lock my sim. I feel like he might come back and grief me. And I don't know how to do that on Black Dragon. How do I get into the world? You guys give me one hot second world. Uh... I need to get into the region estate management situation. Advanced world. It, it should be under world, right? How the hell do you get in that in here? I don't know. I just don't want him to come back and start, like, rezzing some crazy shit. I know how people go on SL. Well, we'll take our chances, because I don't want to take up too much time on this, but um, I'll have to figure out how to get to that region setting um, on Black Dragon. Uh, did I cover everything? Oh, I was telling you there were different planners. So over here we have these dirt fields. Um, then I have some more over here. I'm going to show you really quickly. I already showed you the beehives, right? Covered the animals, the feed mill. Um, here's some more dirt fields that need to be taken care of. Here's some more. Um, these are called raised planters. And these are also dirt fields. They do the same exact thing that these do. They just look different. Okay. Um, different kind of trees I have here. I have a nut tree, an apple, and then I have some corn growing by itself for no reason. Um, and then I have herb. Uh, these produce herb baskets. These are like super important for a lot of recipes. Um, and they come in these... Uh, these things these planters you could i guess you could put them on a table i just put them down there just because i wanted to here are water fields a few things grow in water fields that i know of which are important rice and sugar they do not grow in dirt so you have to get water fields they come in raised planters and flat fields uh like this and the only things that can be planted on in these are the things that grow in water and I'll show you how to identify 
what grows in water and what grows in dirt if you don't really know by heart. Um, and then there's a different amount of appliances that you use to process all these things that you farm. I'll show you a few of them. My little processing hood plant um because i got stuff all scattered around there's things you can make in an oven so i have microwave ovens here that are used for oven this is a freebie it's a prep table you could buy prep tables that are much cuter than that but this is cute if you like the sci-fi look but if you're going after a different look they have different all of these have different stoves come in this look uh, they come in all kind of looks. I can't even go over all of them. I have a butcher table that looks like a cutting board that you use to cut up carcasses. Here's the carcasses that I use. How do you, how do you do that? Let me show you real quick because it's a quick recipe. I didn't really want to go and make recipes, uh, but I'll do it really quickly. So let me get, make sure I'm in here. So this is where your craft button comes into play. Um, and I don't know what number I use to make carcasses. So what you do is go on your DFS menu. Let me see if I could take you. Um, to the DFS menu. Uh, digital. Oh, yay, you are here. Okay, cool. You can see it. All right. Um, so this is a, a website you'll get familiar with if you ever get into DFS. Um, it's their homepage. Uh, and then they have recipes here. And um, what I'm going to do is search uh, for pork. I'm just going to type in pork. And I'm looking for the pork chops and I need two pork carcass. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see. Can you see that? I need two pork carcass and they need to go on the five and six slot and they need to be cooked on a butcher table. One use with 11 EP. The EP is the amount of points you get if you eat it to fill up your care button. Um, so five and six. So what we're going to do now is uh, <clears throat> I'm going to click on number five, click the pork carcass and hit cook. It'll register on my thing and it'll show like a little picture of a, pork, of a piggy. Then you know it's registered. Do the same with six. Click the butcher table. You know it's working. If you did it right, it'll tell you the name of the product that you're making. If you did it wrong, it'll say oopsie. And it'll produce an oopsie, which only gives you one EP. It's, I guess, good for fishing, and then I don't know what else. When it's done, it'll ding. You click the board, you receive it. And the only reason I did the uh, pork chop is it only takes one minute. Um... Here is a stove. Uh, we call these stoves, but they're actually frying pans. Um, and you do the same thing for the recipes that call for a stove. Stoves, again, come in different forms. Uh, they come like this um, or frying pan. They come in different things. I'm not familiar with all the different ones that they come in. And then they also have invisible too. So I have like an invisible prep board back here. Let me control alt T. You see this, this is a prep board and I know where it is. So if I click on that area, I can uh, do recipes that call for prep. So here we go. The carcass is done. I click on it and then eventually it'll drop the pork chops in my inventory. Here I have mortars and pedestals uh, to grind uh, spices and coffee. I also have a coffee maker somewhere over here and a juicer. And they come out with different events and different holidays and they make these products in different themes. So this month, this is a juicer and it looks kind of like witchy. Um, 
or steampunkish, and it's called Magical Moments, and it's a juicer. So you can use the recipes that call for a juicer. Uh, now, with that being said, let's move forward to the distillery. Oh, we also can make ice cream in the freezers. Um, and all the recipes follow the same concept. You look up the recipe, you see what number that the uh, ingredient goes in, and click and and click and press play. You know, you have these are actually wine barrels that I got from um, I don't remember uh, Piata and Tropics. Um, and then I took the invisible because everything comes in the invisible for uh, the invisible. And you can see the outline of the invisible fermenter. So when I click on these, I, uh, I can ferment things that call for a fermenter like beer and wine. Here I'm making something. It takes like seven days for some liquor. I'm making vodka. I still have four days to go. And they gave this away too in one of the boxes um this is uh actually a still see i'm making vodka in it juice press oh cannabis <laughs> uh grinders for your weed yes i did say cannabis um so yeah there are so i mean i could go on and on i don't know if i'm gonna just keep moving forward because there's so many things uh, that you can do and buy. Um, I'm going to take you to the DFS store really quickly if I could find it in Black Dragon. It's such a struggle for me because I have all of my uh, places saved on the top for Firestorm. Here, I got to do like this. I got to actually look up the landmark. It's so annoying. Okay. So we are at the main store. I'll leave a link below for it. Um, and I got to eat soon. I'm hungry. And I got to get off of here soon. So we got to wrap up this video. I'll make another video to show the things that we've missed. Uh, but this is the main store. This is where you get your HUD, your brush. Remember we talked about the brush. You can make put it on as a HUD. The starter kit costs 500 linens, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's 500 linens, and you get everything you need to start. A couple fields, a water well. I believe you get a trowel, some fertilizer, a couple cows. I do suggest you start with this if you're going to do it, because it gives you the, the, the basic starter stuff, like, you know, and, and it'll give you a sense of, is this something you like to do or not? It'll even give you stuff to cook and everything. So it'll expose you pretty much to everything in it, in DFS at a small, you know, in a small scale. So definitely look into getting that starter pack if you do want to start this or find a friend that wants to give you some stuff, you know. I've not gotten into the fishing yet, so I, I, I don't really know much about it, but I will explore it when I get some time because I'm, I'm so overwhelmed with everything I got. But a lot of things that I talked about, obviously everything I talked about, you can find in the DFS store. And there's other places you can find it too, which I'll cover in my next video. <laughs> um, but this is definitely the first place you want to come. Get that starter pack before you go anywhere else and get that going if you plan on doing this but you can get your field your water fields here uh there's a lot of oh, my camera skills in black dragon are not good okay so let's walk over here so i don't make you guys dizzy um I just wanted to point out, like, they have a lot of information here about, they have the same with the seeds and the plants. Here is the uh, animal. It'll give you a, what kind of animal. So there's three different cows. There's four different types of chickens, a duck, alligators, goats, llama, ostriches, pigs, bunnies, sheep, and turkeys. Uh, the sign will let you know what their lifespan is. 
here's the days and I don't know what the heart represents I'd like oh probably when they give birth how often they give birth I would assume that's what it is oh yep it is birthing okay so you could come in here and kind of get an idea of what animals you want and what they do um remember I asked I told you like I could show you uh every animal that you buy will tell you like give you information about what it needs and what it produces the same with the plants that's what i was trying to get out <laughs> i didn't know how else to get it out i'm waiting for this to rest so i can show you well this one rest over here so let's move over here so this is the boar it produces fertilizer and meat it gives you the gender it's a male uh it requires you to wear your hood to interact with it you need to brush it. Remember to keep up the happiness. You need pig food and a water trough. So it gives you all the information that you need to upkeep your your animal. And of course, you only need one dude. And you can have as many females. He'll impregnate as many females as you put within his range. I haven't bought any ostriches, ostriches yet. So, but they all follow the same concept. Uh, they have pygmy goats that offer babies milk and meat. These are the ones I have. The barberry, which give you babies milk and meat. Um, yeah, so this is... Oh, they have so many animals. Like, so many. It's, like, so cool. Uh, these are all the appliances and items. Um, you can buy your own, but there's also other ways that you can utilize appliances for for cheap if you don't want to spend the money there's pros and cons to buying them and using them at other facilities we can go over that in another video these are the different water sources i'm just skimming here's the clickies that i told you about now they have these are the ones that are always around they're always on sale it's the bird bath and the gnome and the rock but then during events, they have special clickies and grab bags. And I'll tell you about the grab bag at the end of the video. And these come in many different forms and they're highly desirable. And sometimes you can resell them for a lot more lindens than you paid for them. So um, <clears throat> different ways. Uh, these are the different ways uh, to plant your seeds with water and dirt fields. I haven't explored smart pots yet but um, I'm sure there's a lot of good information here that'll teach you about it. But I have done the uh, fields, <clears throat> the dirt fields and the raised planters. They even have the sci-fi ones. And these will tell you, these. The, if you can look right here, it'll say water. So this is, make sure you buy the right planter for the right seed. <clears throat> this is a water planter. And it says water field, and these are the dirt planters. Okay, very important that you remember that when you're buying your seeds, and I'll show you why. Um, just waiting for something to resin. Looks like this lettuce. Here, this resin. Is it the lighting, or is it just not resin? It's ridiculous. Um. I don't know what's going on here. It's so bright, like full bright. Okay. Here, uh, it's a sweet potato. And it requires a DFS HUD, water, and tending. Here is a symbol you need to look for to see what kind of field it takes. Unless you're a farmer, you know. Or I think common sense plays a part in it, too. I think most people would think potato grows in dirt i'm not sure i don't know if that's common knowledge but anyway remember this is the icon you're looking for you know this takes a dirt field whereas the rice and the sugar cane take water fields so make sure you get the right field for the right seed uh then you also have in the back here trees of different sorts um and, the, and these trees, some of these trees come in different, you know, this is an orange tree and it comes in like different styles. You can get a tiny orange tree. 
or you can get the large one. Um, a lot of these trees do come in different options. So take a look. And over here we have some plants. I know we have the plants, like the free, the plants that you put in the planters are back here somewhere too. So definitely take a look at um, DFS, uh, the main store, get familiar. Don't go crazy. I would suggest you start with the starter pack, uh, get into that, see if you like it, and then go on from there. Uh, I did tell you, I was going to tell you about these stash boxes and grab bags. These are so much fun, but they're kind of pricey, but they're worth it because you get nice stuff. So every month, on the first of every month, he gives away, he or she or they give away a big box of goodies. Um, it, it's worth over 3,000 Lindens. Um, you buy it in advance. Um, and it costs 2500 Everything in there, for the most part, is transferable, I think. So they're all resellable. Collect you get collectible items in there and useful items. Um, and you pay 2500 in advance. And on the first of the month, they drop it into your inventory. It's so amazing. And then they also, they also that's the stash box. They also have a grab bag. The grab bag comes out on the 15th of every month. Um and you pay 1500 lindens for it and it also has the same stuff in it like uh it well it says here unique assortment of items you purchase in advance so a lot of times you'll get like collectible animals or clickies i don't know i haven't gotten enough to really tell you what's in it but i know they're cool and i know when i go to the dfs auctions which i will cover in another video uh there's a lot of things that go for a lot of money that come out of these stash boxes so is it a good investment? I don't know. It's up to you. We'll all have to find out, right? We'll find out together. And then in the front of the store, if I can get to it, ah, it's really a good idea to check out like their newest stuff. So they'll have links to where to buy it. They're usually, ah, excuse me. They're usually not in the store, but they'll tell you where they're at. Like here, this is at the farmer's market. This is a stat pet, and I don't know what that is. So I'm about to find out, get over that, go over that with you guys. Um, but you, everybody remembers what a clicky is. Oh, I got to get another one of these. I have one. And it's at the farmer's market. And I believe if you, oh, can you buy it from like right here? What? There's no way I can buy it from right here. Can I buy it? Ooh, bet. I got it from here. Okay. Nice. I want another one. They're only 75 Lindens. And then you could resell these later on. Like, I could wait a year and sell these next year and maybe sell it for 500 or 1,000. Or I could just keep it and keep it as decorative. If I don't click it, you know why not and then here's the fall planners i have one of these it gives you 20 harvest of hay these are so cute i gotta buy a couple of these i'm gonna buy two they're 150 each i love these another cool thing about dfs is you get 10 percent store credit oh my god that comes in handy i've bought so much stuff with my credit so yeah anything you buy in store you will get credit so i don't really buy stuff on marketplace because i want my credit but there, I have covered like a lot of things, definitely not everything, but I wanted to kind of give you an introduction to um, DFS. And um, I'm hoping that you guys might uh, want to hear some more videos. If I see some comments or I get some views, I will definitely continue the series on DFS. Otherwise, I will jump onto another topic. So it's up to you guys. Let me know if you guys want to know more about DFS. And if you do, I will be here and be more than happy to share my information with you. Anyway, peace out. Skylar Gregory.